Kia ora team, my name is Ben and this lovely human being is Joey. Wonderful. Name that coronary artery disease. Looking at this coronary artery, what pathology is going on here? I reckon that's stable angina. Okay. What, what's the pathology? What's happening inside? Looks like we've got atherosclerosis here and we've got a thick fibrous cap or a, quite a stable looking plaque. Okay, this is important because this lipid core, or this necrotic core, if this it gets exposed to the blood inside here, what's going to happen? It's going to cause it to clot. Okay, so at the moment we've got this good fibrous cap keeping it contained. If we... oh, is there a problem? If we're at rest, most of the time, no. It's when we exercise or if there's an increase in um, demand or oxygen demand. If there's more demand from our myocardium, the muscle in the heart, what's the problem? The problem is, is that because there is a decrease in the lumen, so that's the amount of space where blood goes through, it means that we're going to have a supply issue if we exercise. And so that's going to mean that we're going to have less blood flow to the area that the artery is supplying. And that's going to cause, well that is um, ischemia, and that's going to cause hypoxia. Okay, if the muscle walls become hypoxic, what symptoms will this person have? The person is going to have chest pain, and that's the term angina. And the reason why is because the cells are hypoxic, they're kind of pissed off and they're going to send a message to the brain and the brain is going to cause pain signals um, for us to stop what we're doing and decrease the oxygen demand of the myocardium. Okay, so I mow the lawns, the demand for oxygen increases but the supply can't increase, I get pain and then I stop mowing the lawns and I sit down the demand for oxygen decreases, so therefore my pain goes away. Correct. Is there anything else these people can do to decrease the pain other than rest? Yeah, they've got this spray called GCN that they spray um, under the tongue, and what that does is that it dilates the coronary arteries, so we've got a greater lumen, so more blood can pass through. Wonderful. So this is stable angina. What part of coronary artery disease does this fit in? This fits under ischemic heart disease. Okay, and so we've just got ischemia, so not infarction. If this person went to hospital and got their troponin blood test taken, what would be the result? Normal, and it, the reason why is we've got no infarction, so no death of tissue, so that's why troponin is going to be normal. Wonderful. Good. That's another one down. <laughs>